This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I talk about California beaches, what you need to know about California beaches. I was very privileged to have lived in Southern and Northern California from 55 years. That's a long time, don't you think? 55 years? So I had a lot of experience taking my children to the beach, to, uh, going with my parents as a youngster in the 50s and 60s to the beach. And of course, a lot of things have changed. California has become very, very expensive. But the beaches in most situations have stayed the same. California is very good about protecting the beaches. And uh, I really, really had a good time there. In this first section, I'm going to be talking about urban and suburban beaches. In my second section, I'll be talking about casual beaches where you can just kick back and relax. And the third one is out of the way beaches. Let's start with San Clemente Beach. Uh, back about 10 years ago, I lived in Riverside, California. A hot place. It gets muy caliente there. And I would take my little bike, my little mountain bike my wife and I would get on it and ride about a mile or two to the train station and there they had where I could place where I can put my bike and we would go to the beach at that time going to the beach only cost about 10 bucks for a weekend pass I don't know what the price is today I would call the uh, train folks at uh, in Los Angeles and they can give you that information so I would ride around the beach in my bicycle I would go fishing and uh, check out the various cool shops down there they have a lot of cool shops the key to taking the train to the beach is to make sure you don't miss the last one home I think it was around 7 p.m. was the last one going home and you would have to check the schedule of course and uh, you do not want to be left in San Clemente you'd have to stay in a hotel or take a nap on the beach until the next day so you can come back again there's fishing there's plenty of bike trails and, of course, great restaurants and places to stay down there. Of course, you can always go to Santa Monica. That's the tail end of Highway 10. If you take uh, Highway 10 from Jacksonville, Florida, you'd end up in Santa Monica. And, of course, Santa Cruz is only 25 miles from my birthplace, San Jose, California. Just take the uh, highway over the mountains and there you are in cool Santa Cruz. I love Santa Cruz. You should check it out. They have a great downtown. Also nearby is Capitola. If you want a casual experience, go to Laguna Beach. That's in Southern California also. It's a little more uh, artsy-fartsy vibe. Beautiful beaches. I took all these photographs, most of these photographs uh, uh, for this segment here. And here's a photograph of Muir Beach. And that's just north of San Francisco. And a lot of uh, folks from San Francisco love going to Muir Beach to relax, to kick back, to enjoy the cool attractions down there and of course they have some very nice restaurants you know about 10 5 miles away i also went many many a time right next to santa cruz is capitola super laid back at least uh, in the last couple of years it might change uh, capitola has a beautiful beautiful uh, pier you can see the pier to the right and i would go at the end of the pier and go fishing and they would have sometimes you can catch a surprisingly you can catch a a salmon or a striped bass and uh, have a great time and that's that's a photograph i took from the end of the pier and sometimes there'd be music at the little restaurant at the end and have some jazz music if you're sitting at the beach at one of the benches on the beach with the folks uh, it was fabulous and of course carmel carmel is an upscale community with a lot of galleries restaurants very very nice i love going to carmel if i had enough cash if you can send me some cash, I would greatly appreciate it so I can move to Carmel, California. I've always wanted to live there. It is absolutely gorgeous. They have a beautiful little downtown with art galleries, tremendous photo galleries, and of course, a fabulous beach. I love Carmel. If you ever go down there, you'd probably love it too and never want to leave. For a more isolated, more rugged experience, you can also go to uh, Carmel River Beach Trail. It's over there by Carmel Mission. I love this little spot. I would take my photo students from the university down here and we'd hang out and uh, go to Carmel River Beach Trail. And uh, it was beautiful. It's a small beach. It's near a you know, suburban little area and also near the Carmel Mission. Absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend going to Carmel River Trail Beach. I think it's Carmel River Beach Trail. I get it backwards. I apologize. I'll never make that mistake again. Here's a photograph of the marsh area. 
by the beach. Of course, if you go down that uh, road there, you get to uh, Carmel. And here's a photograph of one of my favorite spots uh, between San Francisco and Santa Cruz is San Gregorio Beach. Wow, I love that spot. I would take my children there for picnics and they'd go, man, it's cold. Yes, it was cold. I would try to have a little uh, little barbecue, a little bit grilling station, but the fire would always get blown up because was, the wind was tremendous. So you can go whale watching there. You can just hang out. I'd recommend going down there during the summer and having a great time. You can go in the winter and fall and spring too, but it's going to definitely be cooler. So take a sweater, take a jacket. It's not like Southern California where it's always hot. One of my favorite spots is Muir Beach. I used to park by Green Gulch. They have some free parking there. That's a little Zen center they have there. And walk down the trail to the Pelican Inn and hang out there for a while. They have a great little fireplace. And I'd have lunch there sometimes. And then I'd walk to the beach. This whole walk is about two, three miles, not very far. And of course, I also went to Kirk Creek camping with my kids. We'd go hiking along the cliffs. That's a little bit south of Carmel in the Los Padres National Forest absolutely beautiful down there of course back in the day I didn't even need a reservation but now it's so busy you need a reservation for you know anywhere in California it's changed quite a bit here's my wife uh, she's at uh, you know Center Beach County Park right there hanging out nearby is the Agate Beach about 30 miles north of that spot uh, it's all near uh, Eureka California it's definitely cooler down there don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would greatly appreciate it. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.